it's Brenna again! And I am very, very sorry that I missed last week's, um, challenges. I know I've been, I feel like I've been missing a lot. I feel like I haven't seen you guys in a while. It makes me sad. Anyways, um, yeah, sorry I missed last week, but it was my birthday. So, I had a very monkey full birthday, I guess you could say, because as you can hear, I am currently listening to my new monkeys records. So, I will show you what I got. They're all originals, by the way, so, just before I get into the challenges. So, I got, um, more of the monkeys. Um, yeah, I don't, I never really had any monkeys records. My dad didn't have any to give me, and I didn't know where to find them. So, he just bought, he just got some originals from some guy on eBay. Then I got, um, The Monkees, which is an absolutely amazing album. Um, then Headquarters. I don't know, I just feel like I got a lot of really, real good ones. And then what I'm currently listening to is Pisces Aquarius, Capricorn and Jones. Again, this is probably my favorite album ever. So, yeah. And then... I got, um, Best of the Monkeys then and now. So it's a nice little, I don't know, it's a nice thing. And then I, um, I also got Monkeys Earrings. And I got a Monkeys Vinyl Bowl record thing that I would show you if, if I could, but I don't really want to get out of my room. I don't know why. Whatever. Anyways, so I will try to do this week's challenges and last week's challenges again, like I always do. So, where did I leave off? What song would you like to play to someone who's never heard of the Monkees in order to make them fall in love with them? Well, obviously they probably heard Daydream Believer or I'm a Believer, so that's out of the question. But, um, I really don't know. Like, I guess, maybe, like, one of, like, the original ones. Like, if they haven't heard Last Train to Clarksville, maybe I would play that. Or some of, like, the, like, the really, like, I don't know, I guess kind of romantic songs. Like, I don't know really what kind of romantic songs they would be into. Um, whoever, like, or any kind of Beatles song they like, like, she's, She Hangs Out is playing. I bet that they would like that. Or any other Davy song, as a matter of fact. So, yeah. That's what I would play to them. Um, which monkey song would you like to have at your wedding? You know, I've thought about this question for a while, actually. Like, I'm way too young to get married, like, I know that. Um... But I was thinking, like, for a while, I think Cuddly Toy's a really cute song. Not like it's a, like a, it's not, like, really a romantic thing, but, like, um, you know, it's just, like, a cute little, like, dancing thing. And I think it's just, like, a, it's a nice dance. It's, it's, it's adorable, and I want to do the Davy dance, like, with my husband. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's a good plan. Yeah. Um, at my funeral... Why would I want a monkey song? Like, I mean, I would want a monkey song to play at my funeral, but why would they play be playing music at a funeral in the first place? Um, um, I don't know. Like, I I wouldn't play I Want to Be Free because everyone's like, says that, and it's like, oh, that's the song, like, I'm never gonna listen to it again after Davy died. Like, I vowed that every time I hear that song, it just, like, it breaks my heart. Like, literally, ever since Davy died, I can never listen to it again. So that's kind of out of the question, but I feel like that would be the most appropriate song to play. Besides, um, I don't know. That's, like, the only song that I could think of, because it's sad. Like, it's a really sad song. Yeah. Also, <laughs> I just thought of Forget That Girl, but then I realized, oh, why would they want to forget me? Whatever. Um, you are on an archaeological expedition in Egypt. Which monkeys would you want leading? Really? I think everyone... Who would I want leading? But, like I said, when they were when we were all trapped on the island. Like, they all have different qualities about them that make them, like, good leaders or why I wouldn't want to kill them off. Um, like, Mike is the most responsible, and I feel like he would be a good leader. Like, when I play The Sims, what I like to do is that I like to take, like, the monkeys and put them on, like expeditions in, like, Egypt so they can explore the tombs and see what happens to them. I feel like I should do that, like, autonomously. I don't know, I just feel like it would be really funny. Yeah. So, I have to say Mike for this one. Mm -hmm. And, well, after what Renee said in her video, is that everyone has, or we should say what we, um, how we found out Davy died. 
I don't know, because you've all, if you've all been on my Tumblr, then you kind of know how Davy died. But if you haven't, then I sh probably should tell you now. Um, so I was, I was at school, and I was in math class, and my mom called me from the office, and I'm like, oh, what's going on? Because whenever, whenever my mom calls me, I automatically think a family m member has died. But luckily no one did, but she came to tell me that Davy died. And I, I, I like, I was upset. Like, I, I was very upset. Like, I, I kind of, like, I was, I was stunned. Like, I was just like, what? How could this happen? Like, he's my favorite monkey, and I'm just like, how could this happen? He's my favorite one, and he's the first one to go. I was heartbroken. And I came home that day, and I was just crying. It was just, I said prayers for him. I was just, I was a mess. He died two days before my birthday. It sucks. But I just, I miss him so much. But that's enough of that. Um, the day I'm actually vlogging this is Mickey's birthday, because it's a Friday. So, first off, before I begin my s next challenge, I would like to say a very, very, very happy birthday to Mr. Mickey Dolans. Mickey, if you are out there, and I don't know if you are, but if you are, happy birthday. I love you very much. It, because of you, I've gotten into this fandom. Because if I hadn't gone to that restaurant that one day at my graduation, then I would have not gotten to the monkeys, and I would not be here sharing this with all you lovely people. So yeah. All right. So this week's challenges. Let's see what we got. If there's a monkey, is there a monkey song that reminds you of your childhood? Well, whenever my dad and I would like drive in the car, he played like oldies radio stations, and sometimes Daydream Believer would come on. And then there's like I'm a Believer, which is from Shrek. Um. I don't really... I knew that Smash Mouth didn't actually sing I'm a Believer, so... Because then I heard, like, the Monkees version, and I'm like, oh, wait, this use has to be original. Not original, but the, the Monkees version has to be original. Um, so... Is there a Monkey song that reminds me of my childhood? Um... I feel like... The one that reminds me a lot of my childhood is kind of Saturday's Child, because it's just like, it's like a playful song. And I was a playful child, I guess. Yeah. I, I guess you could say that. <laughs> Except I'm not a Saturday's Child, I was born on a Monday. But in the song it says Monday had a sad child. But I'm, I'm not sad, I, d I don't understand how that could happen. Um, um, if you could make a movie with one of the monkeys... Which one would you want as your co-star? <laughs> I like this challenge a lot. Um, it depends what kind of movie it is. Like, I, I always do this. I always try to take things, like, into different perspectives. So, um, like, if it was a comedy, I would obviously want to have Mickey. If it was a romance, I'd want to have Davy. Because, you know, maybe we could have, like, a makeout scene or something. Um, if it was, like, a drama... I feel like Mike and I could have like this really like love-hate relationship with each other and just like have those really like s moments where we like slap each other. I feel like I've, I've always wanted to do that with someone. But not really. Um, and for Peter, what would I want to do for Peter? I guess it's just like a feel-good movie. I don't know, like a feel-good, like happy movie, like the ones you go to, the, like the ones written by like Rob Reiner or something. I don't know his name. He was on All in the Family, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. But who would I most want as my co-star overall? Probably... Probably Mickey. Like, I love Davey. Like, Davey's like an actor. And... So... And yes, I would love to see him as well, like, acting. But I feel like he would be a real diva on the set. So... And diva outside, like, of the set. Like, Davey's just a diva. Just, you gotta face it. Um, so, yeah. Mickey is just like, I feel like he'd be just like a lot of fun to have on the set. Really, like, easygoing. He has his own ideas. He's been on TV. He knows the way. So, yeah, that's, that's just what I think. And, um, I already wish Mickey a happy birthday. Yeah. If I'm saying it again, happy birthday, Mickey. And I'm really upset that I didn't go to the monkeys convention. Because it was on my birthday and I should have gone. But whatever. Um, yeah. So thank you for watching, guys, today. 
I pretty I'm pretty sure I will be Oh no, I won't be I keep missing weeks. I'm not gonna be um here next week guys. I'm going on a school retreat. So if you guys are watching this and I'll tell um Lyric or Erica or whoever is now whoever runs this YouTube channel site that I am going to have to find a fill in. So I will see you later guys. I will see you in two weeks. I hope you can survive without me. I I'm, I know you can. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching guys and have a wonderful day.